Welcome to USACO uh, solution video at silver level. And th this is a video at 2019 US Open uh, USACO silver level problem called left out. Uh, today, we're going to spend about 10 minutes to go through this problem, analyze it. Uh, first, this is a game simulation um, problem to detect the bad cells. Uh, first technique is we're going to flip and fix the top row and the left column. Then we're going to use loop to find the bad cell location. Then we're going to categorize it, um, fell into different case and find the bad cells. Uh, at, at the end, we're going to write the code in Java and submit to the website. Okay, this is our problem. You can see uh, they have this grid. And by n grid, they have a bunch of R and L. Uh, you can do a flip. Uh, you have to flip the whole row or whole column. And at the end, you want to see uh, what was the, the violating rows, the cells. See, this is the first problem here, sample input and sample output. Uh, I'm going to put in the notepad here to simulate it. As you can see, the input is RLR, RLL, LLR. What we do here is we're going to fix the top row. You can see L is violating. So we're going to flip the second column, make it the first one is R, then becomes R, L, and R, right? Now we see all the top row is, is correct. So we're going to fix the first leftmost column here. I flip the L into R, flip the whole row, right? Becomes RLL. So at the end, all the rows are R, all the columns are R. So it's going to be a pattern here, LLLL, right? So in this case, no matter what we do, it cannot be fixed, right? Because every time you just flip back and round in the loop, you, you infinite loop. So in this case, the problem here, because this is more than a square, uh, cannot be fixed. The problem is ending on the left corner, is L. So this is going to be the, the answer, one and one. Okay. So again, this is really based on a flip. So any flip, if they are based on the same row or same column, you can fix it. But if you have something like this, if you have something like R, 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 L, no way you can fix it because this L always going to be the bad cell, right? So the problem is becomes trying to follow the rule, then find the bad cell here, try to find the pattern here, right? Trying to find uh, what location in this right angle is the first L, right? So in this case, uh, we just have this problem defined in three steps, right? First step is just following, uh, doing the flip, right? Fix the top row and the left column. The second step, we're going to scan this right angle to find the first violating L's, right? Then the third steps, when we find the L, we're gonna fall into different patterns, right? In this case, if more than, if the L's, the count is more than a square, it's gonna be the problem is not the cell itself, it's outside, right? It's the left corner has a problem, right? In this case, see, this is a different input here, right? 
we just fix the first, the top, it becomes RR, LL, RR, right? Then we fix this one, everything's fine. So basically, different, different uh, patterns have a different, after you do the flip, it's gonna have different results, right? So basically, number three step, we're gonna identify a different results, right? For example, if everything is R, means it's no, no point. And this input is perfect, right? And if there's a one L here, means everything else good, the right bottom corner has a problem. So this is a single cell problem. We know that, right? Or you can have something here, but two L's all receive in a row. So that means the row problem. This row has problems. Or you have two L's, uh, one on top of the other, there's a column problems, right? Or you can have something here, this is the top row problem, top corner, left top corner problem, right? Or you have something flipped like this. This no way you can find the cells because they're, they're a twisted uh, results, okay? So again, uh, this is a problem really uh, following, uh, following the game rule, right? This is uh, one type of uh, usually a very typical silver level problem is you follow the game's rule, we do the flip, right? Then find some patterns, then just do a statistic, scan the output of the flip, after flip to find the bad cell. Then, then that bad cell location going to fall into different case, then report the case. All right, so, Okay, let's look at the code in Eclipse. This is the Java code. And based on our steps, what we do here is we're gonna define, we're gonna read in the input, right? Uh, what, how, the size of the grid. Then I'm gonna define the input, right? To be able to sp speed up the flip, we're gonna use define a Boolean array. So really in the one is L, we mark it true. Otherwise it's gonna be false, right? We're just going to, it's gonna be a uh, two dimensional, two dimensional Boolean array. When there's an L, it's gonna be marked as true. So this is gonna be our first step, which is doing, doing the flips, right? That's why we're going to use Boolean because we want to flip the row, the top rows, right? You see, we do the XOR, which is really doing the flips. Then we do the columns, right? So this is a, a um, mass operator to do the flips, right? When the value is the same, a true and true, it becomes false. True or false becomes true. So this is the way we simulate the flips. So after this one is done, we are going to have a array going to look like this, right? So this is, when this is done, array going to look like this. Now the RR array is going to be FFF, uh, -F -F, right? It's the answer is going to be, is a Boolean array, a similar Boolean array. Going to be have, uh, going to be force, 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 two, two, and first, Right? So that's similar, right? You're just mapping R to be false, L to be true, right? So that's why we're using this uh, XOR operator to do the flips. After that, we're going to do the count. There are different patterns here, right? You can see the results, we're trying to do the count. So what we do the count is we just scan the whole array from one one at the left, upper corner to the right bottom side, right? To see how many force do we have, right? Let's see, if we don't have, right? So we check how many force, the count, how many force do we have? We don't have any force, 
is one one, right? We have n minus one fourth. There's something was wrong, so it's going to count. Let's right? see if the problem, if the problem is on the row side, we're going to print out one, and with the um, from one with the column ID. So this is the case on the column problems, right? So this is the case on the row problems. You implies I plus one and one, right? So this these three cases is really uh, simulating this case, right? So LRR, this is the case going to print one one. Right. Then this case is going to be printed out when there's uh, a column problem here, right? LL one on top of the other. This is pointing out uh, the row problem here, right? And also there's minus one means there's still some twisted way. In this case, you print minus one, right? And this case, it's a single cell. Only one cell is off, you just print out one cell, which is this case, right? So this is a high level. This portion is really do a counting, right? A different case, you're gonna print out different results. Okay, so the main, we have this, this utility functions do the count. It's pretty easy, right? You have a, this is left leftmost starting point. This is ending point, And this is value to check. You count how many B values there, right? So you just do a nasty loop, uh, check each of the cell. If the value equal to B, count them, right? It's much easier. So again, i give you guys a minute here. Make sure you understand this is following our uh, analysis and this is a way to implement uh, in Java okay okay so you see the first step is flip the second step is count then based on different counting results would print out different values. Okay, let's submit to the website. Okay, uh, all test cases passed. Uh, to recap, uh, this is a very good uh, silver level uh, simulation, game simulation problem. Uh, to, to attack this type of problems, you need to understand the sample input and sample output. In this case, we need to um, do the flips using Boolean array. And also we need to count how many trues and fours uh, then based on the results, we map to different output. Okay. Uh, this is our online USICO training videos. Uh, we have about 33 USICO lessons at different levels, bronze, silver, gold, and platinum. We have about 150 hours of USICO Java training videos just like this. We have 140 hours of usable C++ training videos. And we start building the Python training videos. We have about 50 hours and growing. So please visit our website, usablecoach.com. 
Also, we have stemivy.com if you are also interested in our other offerings in math and others. Okay. Last one is I will have an email group, Usical Coach, uh, 2018 gmail.com.